I love it. I think it's awesome. It's kind of written from the perspective of someone who has been burned before and wonders why it keeps happening to her and then realizes like maybe I'm the problem and then kind of just owns your own faults in relationships instead of always blaming the other person and kind of is a very forthcoming song of my of myself. Soul R&B influence on them and then I write like a folk singer so it's a very big blend. Somewhat, yes. If you were to read my songs like a poem, it almost comes across like it would be country lyrics, like a folk song, like a Bob Dylan or like a Marin Morris song instead of a traditional pop, like commercial pop song that's just repeats the same thing over again. No hating on pop because I love it. But then with like a lower register, soulful voice, which a lot of females in the pop industry don't usually have, it's usually a lot higher and just don't have that, can't hit that. About 11, 12 years old, I started writing. I'm sure that I was writing poems here and there, but I really found that I was good at writing when I was like in seventh grade. My teachers all told my parents that I had like a strong writing. It was really crazy. I would say that it got crazier as I got older. And then unfortunately after she passed is when it kind of really hit me how big an influence she had. So I think that if you were to ask younger Rachel, it was a huge inspiration because like I thought my grandma was super cool because her job was to go on stage, but I had no idea exactly the level of depth that her impact really had. his people had to contact my mom was my grandma's manager. So she's still the one who holds like most of the rights for a lot of the stuff that she has. So when she got a call from Jay-Z's people, she was like, as one does. As one does. And she tells me this casually. I'm like, do you, um, do you want to maybe send my stuff or, <laughs> or just, we're just going to stick to Nana's. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. It's fine. Next time. If she's good. I actually saw a psychic last week who told me that I was supposed to be having twin daughters in my early 30s. So I'm like, I'm just like a little, I'm a little, sh I'm a little shooken up about the daughter thing right now, but maybe double manager. If we'll get offers for things that come in or if someone wants to write or if someone wants to produce a song, I'm always so pumped on the idea that I don't really fully do the research at first. And I always get so excited about it that I want to go full throttle. And so I always need someone to like pull me back to earth a little bit. So that's probably the hardest part is reining me in. I romanticize everything in my head. So every little idea in my head will start to grow into this massive, thing. So even if it starts with such a, like a small idea, if it's someone being like, I want to remix your song. I honestly would be a perfect person to scam, except for that I'm terrified of the internet. So I don't put any information. Like I don't have any passwords saved. I have to log into my Instagram, my Twitter every time I use it, which means I have changed my passwords like 60 times a year. Cause I always forget. Let's just say I've gone through every single, I've already, I've tapped this out, so you, nice try, it won't happen. I have gone through every single pet I've ever owned, including the ones I own now, twice. And so I, I can't use them anymore, so now I'm using just like random things. I do, I have a new song coming out with Bella Music, who's awesome. Um, He's produces a bunch of stuff for like Megan Donnelly and has uh, honestly been doing so much stuff lately that I can't even keep track of, but he's amazing. And we worked on this song. Um, I wrote it, it's called Getting Over You and another relationship song cause classic and sent it over to him. And he was like, I'm gonna run with this. We're gonna make it a pop summer anthem. And it's so fun. I actually performed it last night for the first time ever and it went over pretty well, so.
It's more of a pop song than Learn My Lesson was. It's definitely more poppy. It's very catchy, um, kind of like electronic synth in, in the chorus. Drop, there's no drop, but it's definitely more of a pop song. I wouldn't say it's anything else. It kind of came out of nowhere that I decided this, but I was there a couple months ago and just working with a bunch of amazing people. And it just felt like, you know, when you just are at a place and it just feels like this is where I need to be right now. It won't be forever. I have to come back to New York eventually because I just am so obsessed with it and I can't be away for too long and my whole family's here. But I'm gonna spend some time on the West Coast. I've also been living only ever in the Midwest and the East Coast. So I'm like way overdue to skip a winter. I've got the coldest winter of my life in Chicago and Michigan under my belt. I need some sun and I think we'll all be better off for it.